should leave playing you for another day, John. Let's go, my boy. I think we outstayed our welcome here. <laughs> against the weight of plebeian ignorance, my boy. Keep your eye out, John. Maybe you need to think about a change of career. I will never give up on science, John. Quick, here you are! How can these people harbor such bitterness? Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. What is there to worry about? Shot my boy! Why don't you go get some friends? Even this up a bit! There's quite a 
sucker up ahead. My dear boy, you saved the day again. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. And forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. Mr. West Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready, then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Uh, barely nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Follow me, John. It's not too far to Rathskeller Fork. So how are you, John? Okay, all things considered, hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, uh, before knowledge comes down, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, Wes Dickens. I resent that implication, John. I wasn't implying. I was telling. You're such a successful businessman, what are you doing living in a cave? Delightful and Dickensian, isn't it? If you say so. Are you familiar with the concept of philanthropy, John? I'm surprised you are. Oh, I don't do any of this for myself, John. I hope you realize that. You're crazy, old man. You seem to be forgetting that I've been part of your ridiculous charade. It's been quite a ride, John, hasn't it? We haven't gone that far. No, I mean us. Bridgewood Farm, Gap Tooth Freak, Plainview. You make quite a team, you and me. Brains and brawn. We should consider a more permanent partnership. This partnership ends as soon as I have Bill Williamson. I appreciate your help, but I've just about had it with all your schemes. You need to realize what's at stake here. I know, John, I know. Just win this race and we'll be ready. I give you my word. There it is, John! Rathskeller Port!
Look around, it's very busy. Prime conditions to turn a profit. Not a particularly handsome bunch, are they? Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily or black out. Get yourselves ready. Set. Yeah. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? Yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A 
Funko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? I need your help. You and every other fool around here. No, they took her. They took my love. They stole Jim's heart and they, they took her away. What, what are you talking they about, took, friend? They took my love. They took Jim's love by them gangsters. They hide out a tumbleweed. <laughs> can you help me, partner? Partner, can you help me? Oh, I doubt it. But if I head up that way, I'll see what I can do. Help a fella out, partner. I have a soul. <laughs> What you doing here, mister? I've come for you. A mercy mission. Your poor wretch of a man lost his mind. I've seen him at Raskeller Fork. Uh, my man? My man's dead. Ball man shot him about a month ago. Shot him in the back, coming out of a cat house. Gave himself his medals. Just like I gave myself to that poor bastard. Unless you've been to hell, you ain't seen no man of mine. Then where is she? Who? Jeb's girl. Who's Jeb? Creepy kind of guy. Short black hair. Mustache. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> this is Lucy. 
This is Jeb's girl. You dumb fool. Took it off him about a week ago. Hmm. Then you better come with me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We better get her back to her man, huh? You gonna made my day. What a fine romantic you is. <laughs> well, come on, man. All right, follow me. I should never have listened to that crazy fool. Mercy mission. Ha! So did Jeb offer you some kind of reward for this? Come on! I gotta ask, mister. Didn't Jeb strike you as being kind of funny? Most people out here strike me as being kind of funny. But Jeb, he's a special type of funny, I'd say. I'm inclined to agree with you, miss. You good, mister. I'm glad you find it so amusing. Such a lady, I long to hold you. I missed you so much. You got problems, friend. Oh, I ain't got no problems. Not now that she's back with me. Oh, I remember a cold night that we spent together. Every night's been cold without you, my sweet thing. Oh. I thought I was sick in the head. I told you he was funny, mister. Life out here does that to people. Oh. I should know. My daddy kept goats. <laughs> Me and Lucy got some catching up to do. Up, sister. Put them up. Irish, what are you doing? Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, I'm good. Blimey. And I've come to tell you, if you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there! Oh, 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 oh Mr. Marston. Oh, how are you? Ashamed. Ashamed to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh, please excuse us. Now, Irish, that Gatling gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> Come on. I know where we can find the parts for you. Oh, mother fucking Mary. How about a drink or two, mister? You're barking up the wrong tree, lady. What you looking at? What you looking at? Huh? I can't stand to see a man walk around with such a dry pecker. Can I help? Drunk as I am, my pretty and fine working order. <laughs> what a lusty specimen you are. I like Ooh, that. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk, before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. 
You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze-blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserve. Christ, Jesus the church has my money, did anybody? Yo, brain on bus! Where are we going, There's Irish? Just to the warehouse you. here in Thieves Brand Landing. I'm now, telling you, Johnny on. boy, it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office. Hover tongued feller by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're gonna be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. All right, we're here. Stay close. Damn it! That stuttering bastard said this would be open. Come on, let's see if we can get in around the back. I'm beginning to lose my patience. I'm starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drift. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. All right, we should be able to get in here. Stick with me and keep quiet. Shaky's made the arrangements, and he'll... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Sounds like Shaky's only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> All right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! <laughs> Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly at an all-time high. You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good luck, Marston. He's a good man, that Shaky. I'll be waiting out by the front gate with the wagon. Good luck.
thank you for your kindness, Mister. I thought I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. It's gonna be one hell of a fight. My killers! My killers will not take no for that.